We already know that cancer happens when cells divide in an out of control manner. So, killing cells that are dividing quickly is an approach for cancer treatment. This is what chemo and radiotherapies do. But, as we discussed previously, these options can also kill healthy cells. So what can we do to target just the cancer cells? The answer comes out when we talk about personalized medicine. Basically, if we understand the mechanism causing cancer in a patient, it is possible to look for a specific drug to stop that specific mechanism. But how does this personalized medicine work? First, it's important to compare the genome of cancer and healthy cells, seeing as cancer is a genetic disease, and for this reason, small differences in the patient's genome can explain what is causing that cancer. One of the ways of comparing the genome is by comparing the DNA sequence of both cells, using techniques known as DNA sequencing. Differences in the DNA from these cells could suggest that different genes are being expressed, and as a consequence, these genes can make proteins that would deregulate cell division processes, causing cancer. Once these proteins are identified, the second step should be to look for a drug that can inhibit them. This is one of our biggest challenges. Sometimes, the drug is already available in the market, and the doctor can use a protein-targeted therapy. Unfortunately, in many cases, there is still no approved drug to inhibit proteins related to some types of cancer. Patients can try to look for clinical trials, meaning that the drug is still undergoing approval, or they can choose other traditional options for treatment, like chemo, radio, and surgery. We are finishing this project with this video, and we hope you already understand the basic concepts of cancer from the causes of this disease up to possible treatment options. Thanks for following the Cancer Facts Project. Bye!